Hello everybody and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. We are here again in hard mode and we are going to be jumping in. Just going to do a quick little lamey run here and see how things go. I know that we played her kind of recently, but I just really enjoy playing as lamey on hard mode. She doesn't really have any disadvantages and just has a lot of advantages. Maybe a little cheaty, but you can forgive me. Uh, I have done one thing uh, in the meantime. Of course, we've been playing the challenges recently. I can't believe I got hit there. Uh, we've been playing the challenges recently, but for now, we're going to take a little bit of a break for those. We'll hop back on them soon, though. Do not worry. Uh, but in the meantime, I've done something kind of cool. Never Named has... Well, he's getting closer and closer to releasing the new update for his mod, and he's kindly given me a version that is near to complete of that, of that update that also includes a command that boosts the chance... Wow. Wow, we are fucked. <laughs> this guy being jammed? My, my worst fucking nightmare. We are so dead. Leave me alone. Um... But yes, uh, he, he has added a command that makes modded items a lot more common. Hey, it's the Apache room. And I thought it'd be a good idea because we're playing with a bunch of new items that, some of which, by the way, aren't fully finished. So please, if you see an item that's broken, also we're dead. Uh, do not worry, it won't be like that for long. Let's hope we don't see any of those buttons. But we should be seeing more modded items um, I don't know if the waiting is only modded items. It says that the command when you enter it says greatly increased chance of modded items. So we'll see. We'll see how it ends up working. Uh, I'm excited to hopefully come across some uh, potentially new modded stuff. And also, it's just going to kind of reinvigorate Gungeon a little bit for myself and hopefully you guys as well. Because it's going to be some new stuff that you haven't seen before. And of course, everyone loves new stuff. It's the best. So we will see if that ends up uh, ends up helping us out. Let's carry on going. Carry on pushing forward. Slam slam. And Lamy should be a perfect test bed character because hip holster with certain modded guns could be fun. I don't know if it affects guns and items. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think it does. But again, this is something we will find out once we find our uh, first item chest. Hopefully, we can get like a somewhat good run going um, this time around. Hopefully we can get a somewhat good run going. I, I'm not going to guarantee it. But honestly, as compared to the last few episodes we've been playing these challenges, I'm sure that, the, that they'll hopefully be slightly more survivable than those. Because those have been uh, those have been quite challenging, haven't they? Uh, especially the last one, or the last two really, have been virtually impossible. Um, because they've been like bouncy bullets and random enemies, which with hard mode is just... Uh, that's a big no-no. <laughs> I'll tell you now, that's a big fat no-no. You do not want enemies having bouncy bullets in hard mode. That is not going to end well. As you guys saw, it didn't end well. <laughs> it, uh, exactly as predicted, it did not end well at all. Uh, we have ourselves a brown chest here, though. Hey! Finger gun! I'm going to finger bang bang you every night. Girl, I'm going to finger bang you and it's all right. By the way, before any of you think I'm really weird for saying that, it's from South Park. I didn't just make it up on the spot. But anyways, let's see. There you go. Modded gun. It's two modded things already, but yes. The finger bang gun. Finger bang. Bang, bang, bang. God damn, that episode of South Park is so fucking good. Also, got some fellas here. Got some fellas. Although, bizarrely, it seems to be shooting... Oh, hip holster it doesn't work with this. Hip holster shooting a regular bullet for some reason. That's kind of odd. Must be just because due to how it generates the bullet can as a projectile. Oh, that's a big boy. I love the fact that they can be champions. It's so funny. We're getting some bullet kins in there. <laughs> no. Don't betray me like that. Still want to find out other uh, other chests. But this is some good stuff. I'm liking our, uh, our finger bang gun. Finger bang bang. Bang bang bang. I'm gonna finger bang you in my life. And there's another modded one. So this is definitely working as intended. That's great to see. Ooh, this guy's got the AU gun. <laughs> Whenever I say the AU gun, it always makes me think of a, of a line off of uh, American Dad. 
where he finds oh hello oh hello uh he finds stan finds some gold in a wall and he's recording it K killing enemy releases a swarm of herming daggers nice um, and he records it and he's trying to get the perfect reaction uh, and he's saying like that's golden and all that sort of stuff and one of the lines he he goes up to the golden goes hey you <laughs> and <laughs> for some reason it, I just find it hilarious. It's just, it's the shittest, cheesiest pun joke, and I just love it. Just, hey, you. <laughs> and every time I say, hey, you gun, it's all it makes me think of. But this is actually doing all right, damage so far. And of course, the odd bulletkin will uh, come and join our fighting force. Come and help us out. Not a lot of them, albeit, but we'll get a few here and there. Put, 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 put. Really, we've, all, we've only seriously got one bullet. Can he stop comboing these two attacks, please? Thank you. Thank you, my, my dude. Calibur's eye has been unlocked, and we got ourselves a dragon wing. Dragon wing. That's exactly what it is. Let's have a little look at the dragon window, shall we? But this is going to be cool, having all these modded items. Increased movement speed. Killing an enemy creates a ring of fire around the player. So we, we're going to release daggers and have a ring of fire around us whenever we kill anything, which is going to be pretty cool. Right, in terms of shop, do we want to buy anything? Probably just want to buy a key, and then we'll be on our way. But so far, so heckin' good on this run. So far, so heckin' good. I wish I had, like anecdotes and stories that I could tell, but I've just been sat inside doing nothing for months. <laughs> I, I went, like, to be fair, I did go to the gym for the first time um, in months, because the gym finally opened. It hasn't been open for a really long time. Look how small he is! Uh, it finally opened. Um, so that was nice, but I, I definitely overdid it. I haven't really moved that far from my computer chair in like two months and I decided to go for a 5k run, 5 kilometer run. And on top of that, I uh, I did a bunch of weight machines. Not, not recommended. I feel terrible. I feel awful. I, I am a couched potato and that is all I, all I should be. Also, I'm really liking this, uh, this ring of fire plus daggers on kill effect stuff. It's, it's quite fun. The visual effects of the uh, of the Ring of Fire are very strange, but I like them. Right, shop, what do you have for us? More keys. I like more keys. Also, finger bang bang. Bang bang bang. Our finger gun is going to bang you is pretty fucking good. I'm liking our finger bang gun. And I'm sure many of you are getting increasingly concerned that I keep calling it the finger bang gun. But I will never stop. Hey, it's uh, it's the king. What a Ooh, Casey. Alrighty then. Sadly, this does increase our curse by two. And there ain't much we can do about it. For those of you that don't know, that is a bug with base Gungeon. If you, um... If you do the Casey challenge for this dude, he gives you Casey, you pick up Casey, and it gives you two curse. And he takes Casey away, and he doesn't take the curse away. <laughs> oh, but honestly, Blunder Beast Blight... That does actually mean that Curse is pretty good for us. When uh, unarmed, gain great power at a cost. Unarmored, should I say, not unarmed. But that's not bad. We, we've got a lot of speed. We do have a lot of Curse now, though, which is rather spooky scary. I don't know what's going on right now. I don't know where you came from, but... Melado, I'd ask you to stop. This is a very cool run, though. I have to say, I'm enjoying this run greatly. But now we're armoured, so we, we lose some of our Beast Blight stuff. And we get ourselves the Gravity Glove. Intriguing, intriguing. I can't remember how this works. Oh, my God. Ow, what on earth happened then? Diamond Bracelet also unlocked. Wait, um, where'd my gravity thing go? Did I just lob it in a pit? Did I just straight up yeet it into a pit? One minute. 
What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? I actually think I just yeeted it into a pit. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Go, my bulletkin brethren. Okay, this guy is hard to remember. I'm firing at the fake version of him as well, which is silly of me. Oh my god. Honestly, quite a few bulletkin here. More than I was expecting. We killed him relatively quickly there. Very nice. I'm actually really excited to see, um... Oh, wait. Does this work with a gravity glove? Uh, excited to see brown chest now, because we're getting modded items. It does work with it. Wait, what? Where's it gone? It came back to us, but I don't have it anymore. What the hell's my... Where's my rock gone? What the heck? It came back to me. Where is it? Ah, whatever. Ooh, 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 baby. Ooh, this is some salty sauce. Please go away with your jammedness. I do wish it fired two bullet kin, but you can't have everything. Oh shit, there's a dude behind me. Fuck, I didn't see you. Also, why is this guy on fire? I think this ring of fire is a little bigger than the game thinks it is. I don't think this ring of fire is setting things on fire quite as it should be. Seems a little funky. Oh, one of them. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fancy seeing you here. Oh, hello. What's this? Pocket chest. It literally just gave us a lock chest. Noise. I'm guessing it's a random tier chest, maybe? I, I don't know. Let's buy both of these. Let's open up our pocket chest and see if we get anything noise. Anything cool. Anything toit. Let's have a little look. See, peep inside. Yes! Give me the RGG. Oh, wait, no, I forgot. The RGG's broken. For me, at least. I, it must be something to do with hard mode. The RGG don't work for me anymore. Again, not an accurate representation of some of these items. Do not fault the item creators. I am bad. Therefore, I bug things out. Somehow. Don't blame the mod creators. Blame me for being terrible. Interesting room design here. Oh, hello. Do you want to stop, sir? Do you want to maybe stop and just don't? What the hell's this little thing? Gum gun. Wonderful. Wonderful. Let's have a little look, see what this thing's uh, got going on for it. It looks pretty small. Fires globs of gum at your first. Holding down fire uh, causes it to enter gun gum zuka mode. Ooh. Okay. I can maybe get behind this. I gotta say, it's not very good, but also a very, very odd sound effect for this gun. Doesn't really fit, but I'll take it. Ah! Ah! Big gunsnick! Why are you so bad? Why are you gonna be like this? Okay, we're all out of ammo on that. Bang, bang, bang! Bang, bang, bang! Let's carry on with the finger bang. Please don't cut my life into pieces, you big stupid gunsnack. Thank you. I would have cried. Hey, finally, a gun that we can use. Lol, it's broken. Can't use it because it's broken. God damn it. Again, 
Not a clear representation of the weapons in this game. My game broken. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's something to do with hard mode, I'm pretty sure. Just ignore. Pretend as if it's fine. Everything will be okay if you just ignore all of the issues. I will definitely have a look into what's causing all of this, by the way. Or at least try to. Maybe I'll get Nevernim to come and help me. I'll force him to. I'll let him out of his cage for a little bit. Um, and he can come and he can come and help me. Uh... Ooh, we got our throwing thing back. We got our throwing thing back. Yeet. Oh, it's gone again. <laughs> it's gone again. It looks like it's finger bang all the way. All we ever know, all we ever we've ever known is finger bang. Honestly, the knives are carrying us so hard right now. They're like 90% of all of our damage. Magician, please no. Magician, please no. Oh, fuck. Oh god, these rooms are getting uh these rooms are getting a little bit saucy with uh with the limited amount of damage we currently have, aren't they? If I could stop stepping on those, that'd be fantastic. Oh my god, no! Okay, we got some of this ammo back, which is nice. Yeah, I need a, I need a gun that works, please. Health! No, don't jeopardize the health to get health. That's stupid. That's backwards. Okay, we, we did it. Baby mushroom boy, please go. Ah, ah, ah! Definitely gonna gun munch two of these weapons that don't currently work. It did not like that. <laughs> it, it, it proper hitched up when it ate that then. Ooh, we got up um up and up. Great potential. It doesn't seem that great to me. I'm guessing this is one that like improves based on certain actions or something. Um. Oh, okay. So right now it's garbage, but if we get any damage ups, it receives that damage up twice over, which is very nice. Also, trim gun unlocks. We're getting a lot of unlocks from Nevernim's pack right now. Kind of cool to see some of these uh, new unlocks. And for those of you wondering, at some point soon, we probably are going to start a new save file. Um, just because of the amount of mods that have unlocks associated with them. Um, and play around with those for a bit. We'll see. I really should take ammo for this bad boy, shouldn't I? This room's going to be just, just hell. Just absolute hell. Let's just pretend like it isn't. And then everything will be fine. Ow. Ah! No! No! Tarnisher, bad. Oh my gosh. It's gotta be you, right? No. Nope. You? Is that it? Yep, that's it. Oh my god. Whoa, Glitch Boy. Hello. Hello there, Glitch Boy. Oh, God. We're going to die. We, we spitting to die, boys. This run has been somewhat bizarre, but we've, uh, we've managed to see a few new modded things, which is always nice. Oh, oh. Ooh. <laughs> I shat myself then. I absolutely shat myself. And also, th this run allowed me to create a sufficient amount of finger bang jerks, which I'm sure... Every single one of you just absolutely hated. Which is always nice. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. The harbingers of death have come for me. No, it's okay. We got him. We got him. A shop. Shops sometimes have HP in them. Also, two new items. 
Suzuki's polymorphine. Oh, that sounds a bit saucy. I'm more inclined to take leaking syringe though. Gives a massive damage up, but killing enemies reduces the damage up until uh, until the boost is lost. Oh baby baby, this could be a synergy. This could be a synergy. So. Let's see if we can figure it. Oh, no. Bubble of death. Leave me alone. Sir, so, this thing's rec receiving twice the damage bonus. The damage bonus is slowly fading. I don't know if it's over time or per kill. I think it said it was per kill. But, oh, sad times. I was going to say, it does make the up and up real fucking good, which was pretty cool. Anyways, we're going to leave it there. We've got some cool stuff going, and this is just kind of an introductory episode to the fact that we're going to be playing with a mo with an, uh, a command that makes modded items way more common, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to try and fix the fact that a lot of the guns just don't work. I'm really not sure what that's about. We will try and fix it. I hope you guys did enjoy nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.